Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Today we are going to update my empties for both April and May. I had to combine them. April was basically a write-off, though I did complete a few things. I barely wore any makeup. Um, and I still actually, I wanted to say that this is all for April and May, but I would have more for me except i have not completed some of my updates yet for the end of the month like um turn and burn and stuff like that so uh that stuff's just going to go into the next month not a big deal it will all work itself out in the wash <laughs> but anyhow this is the stuff that i have ready to go for the month of april and the month of may combined let's just do a really quick overview and then we'll talk about what i'm bringing in this is actually from a soap that was handmade and I bought at um, one of those like um, like convention center type events and I used that up. And then this is the Sephora Hemp Purifying Oil, which was really, really nice. Um, again, it's oil, so it's like straight up oil all over your skin and everything. But I do have a vanilla version of this. This is the hemp one. Um, and then let's just go into the front. I have a dark brown pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills completed. I have a little container of, this was powder from, uh, I was going to say Anastasia, from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> and then I also have this lip mask, this like lip sleeping mask from Laneige. Um, this is the Anastasia Brow Freeze and that's completely empty. I also have the Milk Makeup loose powder my mouth is sticking together what the heck <laughs> and then i have the tom ford traceless soft matte primer i actually really enjoyed this if i used it with something different a different spatula i did not like it when i used the one that it came with i also have the origins ginseng into the glow brightening serum this was pretty nice but i have other favorites the augustus bader the rich cream with tfc8 I don't know. It was all right. It was all right. Um, then we have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is really nice. I really enjoy this and I like getting little samples like this because I can't afford the big massive one. And then we have the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. This is the Radiant Serum, which was absolutely lovely. I enjoyed that. Um, the Oribe Gold Lust Mask for your hair. This was really beautiful. I do love Oribe for my hair products. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have the Amand um, Lusitan. What does it say here? Um, delicious hands with almond from Provence. Provence. Okay. So then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, this is amazing. I will definitely buy a full size of that. Also the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer, which was nice. We had the CEO from Sunday Riley. This is a vitamin C serum. This is gorgeous. I really want to buy a full size of that. I also have a lipstick. I'm so sad, but I finished my Nicki Minaj um, MAC lipstick. I have to say, I'm, I'm sad to see it go, but I think I've moved on from it being my favorite. So I'm okay that it's gone. It's just, you know, end of an era. End of an era. <laughs> All right. Then we have the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I really enjoy this. Um, we also have the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. Really, really amazing. I actually bought the full size after this at the Sephora sale. And then I finished a liquid lipstick, which is the um, Vinyl Ink in Peachy from Maybelline. And then at the back here, we have some under eye patches, some isopropyl alcohol, uh, Veet wax strips, uh, a native deodorant, all of my hair root touch up stuff for two months. And then a lotion from Avene. This is my favorite lotion from Avene. It's so good. It's so amazing. We're going to push all this back now, but that is everything for um the month of april and may oh my goodness why are you being like this goodness gracious all right now we're going to talk about the things that i'm bringing in first and foremost i'm going to show you some samples we have this pack of samples if you spent like 40 bucks or something and you get all this stuff for free i was like, very excited because i love perfumes and then there was another one of concealers, which has a little um, beauty blender sample in it. And I'm very pumped to try this. I've been really enjoying 
serums and foundations and stuff lately. Really enjoy that. And we'll talk numbers in a second. Um, but this I also brought in. This was a big one. I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart. You get a bunch of different samples. I am going to part with this Mario Badescu. I do not like Mario Badescu spray. I think it's terrible to be completely honest. But I love that it comes with a bunch of sunscreens that I get to try and also a deep bronzy. I absolutely love the deep bronzy drops. So um, the little baggie probably will go. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> I might keep it for my cross stitching stuff, but we'll see. Um, I also brought in a loose powder. I can't remember the brand name of this. Oh, this is Marcel. So a face powder. It's a luminous face powder, which I'm very excited to try. Did not recognize that symbol based on Marcel. Strange. And then I also have a couple of other items here. I'm just going to dump these out and put these here. So I also grabbed this um, Maison Louis Marie uh, discovery set for Eau de Parfum. A couple of samples. I actually really wanted it to try, what is it called now? A terrace or something like that. I can't remember what it was called. But um, it wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. And so now I have like all of these and I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy them. But I will try them. <laughs> I will, of course, try them. See what I think. I also have this Sephora lip cream stain in the shade 27 Black Cherry. Something told me I had this already and I bought it again for 10 bucks. I don't know. I was just like, I saw it on the website and I was like, oh my God, I need that. I'm pretty sure I own this already. I don't know. I'll take a look and see. Um, also, I have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer. This is a blush bronzer in the shade Kiss of Spice. And the reason I picked this up in Kiss of Spice is because I'm going to try and open this here one handed, but it is sort of like a, like an actual bronzer blush. Like it looks like almost it could be potentially bronzer on your skin, even though it's not. Gosh, this is so hard to open, but you can see here. It's like a more like shimmery, like blush looking bronzer. Yeah. But anyway, I'm obviously going to use this as a blush and I wanted it for summer because I don't have anything like that at all in my collection. And this was half price. Um, next I got the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Dark Spot Serum. I've told you guys about this before. Dark Spot Correcting Serum, by the way. Um, I bought the small sample size in April in the Sephora sale because I needed it so bad. I was like, I have dark spots coming onto my face and they're getting full force and I need to just do something to combat them. And then this went on sale for like 35% off, which was way better than the Sephora sale. So I had to buy the full size because I love this stuff so much. Um, next we have the Giorgio Armani Intense Color... Is this a lip? Oh my gosh. I'm not supposed to buy lip stuff. You guys. <laughs> I bought a lipstick. Why did I? Oh, this was on sale. See, I got to stop because the sales will get me. But I bought this because it matches that um, one that I'm trying to dupe from Ofra. It, I don't know if it's going to match, but I think it's going to be really pretty. But I'm not supposed to buy lip stuff. I don't need lip stuff. <sighs> I just got rid of two. And now I brought in one. Ridiculous. Um, and then we have the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush Glow Color for All Over Face. And this is in the shade... Does it have a shade? It's supposed to be like the light one. It's not even giving me a shade. Anyway, this is the light face highlighter or all over body highlighter. I guess you could use it wherever, but it's so tiny. It's just for my face. And honestly, I want it to replace like this one. This one is a little too deep, but this is Rare Beauty, and I mix it in with my foundation, and I thoroughly enjoy wearing um, the highlighters that way, like the liquid ones. So that's why I picked up this one. I want to open it and see what it's like, but it's really tight. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to do that right now. It's too tightly packed. And then last but not least, I splurged, and I got this um, Killian, Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy perfume. It's the um, travel spray because I will be traveling soon and I'm thinking of bringing this with me. It just smelled so good in the sample. I was like, oh my God. So I have all of these other things in. I'm not going to bring the other bigger items over here because I just don't have enough space as you can tell. But for my empties, I finished a total of 31. 
which is funny because February and March also had 31. Kind of strange. So that means I am bringing in 15.5 points. I always divide the points immediately before putting them into my bank. So I don't have to take two out later. I just do one for one. Even though I've divided them by two, that means it's one for one point. Because I'm it's like two points for everything that's coming in. So this would be worth two points, etc. Now that being said, everything here is nine items including the kit and the perfume little sample thing so nine points will come out of my like duplicate what do you call that like my beauty bank that has the double points situation so from 30.5 we're going down to 21.5 points and I think that's pretty good but I did bring a lot in for like April was a write-off month for me I just did what I wanted and also I got a few things for Mother's Day um, I'm not going to beat myself up about that. I'm really happy with the things that I have in my collection. I'm really happy with the amount that I use up. And I know the things that I'm bringing in are going to be things that I'm actually going to use. So that makes me really happy. I'm much more of a smarter consumer, but I could still do better. I definitely want to do much, much better, especially with lips. I don't need to bring any more lip stuff in. I don't really care if it's on sale or whatever. That's it. Like, ridiculous oh I brought in two I gotta check on this if I actually have this in my collection I'll probably declutter the old one and keep the new one or I'll return this one but it was only 10 bucks that's why I was like ooh. anyhow I really appreciate you guys watching I know this is just a little all over the place especially with um everything being in front of me here and kind of I'm not gonna lie it's a tad messy but it's like this every time um but on the other side over here I have a huge pile of stuff because I'm going to be traveling for work eventually and I'm starting to slowly put things together for uh, I pack way too early but I'm starting to <laughs> to pack things together but anyway um so for the month of May and April combined I used up a total of four hundred fifty eight dollars and fifty four cents worth of product that's all regular prices by the way just so you guys are aware it's all regular prices as normal that's how I've been doing it for the last few years and then combined from January all the way until May, we are now at $1,986.40 worth of completed product. And that will definitely stay smaller than normal because I am not counting foil packets anymore. I just really don't have the time to calculate all of those itty bitty little packages. It You would be surprised at how much more you would get as an empty, but I just have no patience for that right now and I just want to see the bigger things that I'm using because stuff like this even though it's tiny this takes me like a month to go through almost maybe two weeks for sure at least something like this so I mean some of this takes a long time to go through but anyhow thank you again so much for watching I hope you have a fabulous day I hope you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye